19 seid ihr fast auf Gerard und Blake aktiv. World Championship Muay Thai WFCA up to 86.1 kilograms and into the blue corner we see from Poland Oskar Mos back and now we see step into the ring from Team Day of Destruction, The Blade, Coco, Gerardo, Atti. The fighter that is flight fighting under the flag of Togo. Hi Bernard, good to see you. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I made a little introduction already. Okay, the blade in the house. The blade in the house, yes. <laughs> He's 24, so how old is Blade? 22 years old. Well, there you go. Um, they were very confident today. His coach said, uh, okay. Bernard, wait and see. This is, and they've been preparing, he said, for three months for this fight. So they've been watching videos. and yes, So okay. we'll see. I think this is, could, be, it could be a real cracker. I hope so. They come from Poland. I mean, I have not even heard from him before. You know, you don't. And nah. When they prepare, when they said that he had a good preparation, you don't know what kind of effort, how much effort they put into that. You know. Nah. He's I, I said a little bit of info for you, as and for also people listening in. Um, last summer, he spent also two months in, on Kozumui. Mm -hmm. uh, the very famous WMC Muay Thai camp, Lamai Muay Thai camp uh, in Lamai on, on yep. Koh Samui, and he, he had four fights in Thailand and he won three of them, which is not so difficult when you're 86 kilos and you're this tall, you know. Yes, okay. uh, yeah. I, it's not easy to find opponents for big guys like this. I told him as well, I said, in, you know, uh, 86 kilos and you're nearly a meter 95 tall um, is not. You shouldn't be losing fights to Thais because there's not many that can fight. Had he fight against Thais? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, yes. uh, mm. They find guys that will fight someone this big, but it's not so easy. Mm. Uh, but uh, he was training there for two months, so mm. he's probably got... I've never seen him fight, uh, but he's probably got a good Thai style. If he's been training in WMC camp, I know all the coaches, and it's a great camp. Uh, it's a world-famous camp, a very good camp. And, and he trained there for two months, and there's a lot of Polish guys there as well. Uh, training. So maybe his confidence um, comes from knowing that something that we don't know. I certainly mm -hmm. don't know yet, okay. but I'm excited to see what happens now. And I know Coco with Ralph will be very well prepared. And uh, I saw Coco training in Pattaya last summer with Ralph, mm -hmm. and, and he was very impressive too. So, so. Uh, on, here in Hamburg.
so it comes into the line of quality of yes right? yes quality uh, you know whoever wins or yeah. not uh, it's just about the quality of the of, of the of my tie you know if it's a real my tie fight so oscar has long reach yes uh, see already is, is Uh, Oscar's already caught a big low kick on his leg. You see his leg already yes. wilt wilting. That was the first kick. Yeah, wilting up already big. So there's a lot of power in this fight. You can see just one kick, uh, how much damage these boys can do. Uh. Both looking in very they good. They start game. very concentrated. Yes. Ooh. Not much of respect from Oscar. Not at all. Um, now I think I know where his confidence comes from. I think yes. he, he is, as you said, he's not coming to lose. Um, but they both look in great shape. Coco also very impressive. Both relaxed. Good body punch. Mm. <laughs> nice look. Mm. He's working that leg already. Yes. Good technique from Coco there. Nice Absolutely. sweep. Throw yes. down. Good one. Again, yes. again, he's working. And this, and this can, in the second, third round, he can, be, no, can be difficult, can be difficult for him. Yeah, we have a very, I mean, they, I mean, good technique, but they both were full of respect, starting not too fast, mm. and it, it can, it, it looks like it can be go all the way. You know, mm. five rounds, mm, mm, mm. unless maybe with, when you look at his leg, left uh, um, already. Um, you see how he's leg. standing now as well. He's standing. Mm. He's he's got some pain on his left leg already. Yes. He's not he's not um, putting any pressure on his left leg. We will see. But at this weight class, you know, you know, one strike can one end. One strike can end. One yeah. kick, one, one elbow, kick, one, exactly. Head, one punch, punch one yes. knee. These guys are powerful. Um, and we've not seen any elbows yet. One elbow, you can get a big cut in this, uh, this weight class. Um, let's see what happens. Ah, oh, one and a half, five, three, but one and a half minutes. Yeah. Here we go. I like the, the the way Coco goes into the fight. He is, uh, you know, he looks at it and he doesn't overrun. Yeah. You know, he has an impressive knockout stat, stat statistic. You know, mm. but here you see he has respect of of, of Oscar and um, um, he preparing it. Mm. You know. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, you're right. He's not rushing it. He's taking. He's, he's not rushing no. it. Maybe he's like, you know, how you do it with the. How you do it with the roast beef, you know? <laughs> you take time to roast it, you know? <laughs> We're watching a roast beef fight here now. <laughs> I look. No, but it's interesting that you say that because uh, I, uh, he, he's looking very calm, you know? Very he's, calm. And he's Look. building it. He's reading his mm. opponent. Oscar still uh, is, uh, yeah, again, big heart. Mm. But he's not really doing very much, is Not he? very much. And maybe, as you said, if he's hurt, his left leg hurts. Mm. And with every minute, you know, it gets worse. Mm. He's not he's not kicking at all, he's got no middle no. kick left there. And, and he can't clinch. How do you, how was it you said it? Uh, uh, the intent? Intention. Intention? Intention. You know? Yeah. Nice uppercut, nice left hook. Mm. Oh. If Coco would now slowly but steadily continue, yeah, and like switch on the heat in the oven on yes, the roast yes, beef. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I know <laughs> what you mean. I think in the third round he's going to get him. He's 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 beginning to put pressure on now. Yes, yes. And the, the the Polish boy Oscar is not really doing anything, is he? It's no, he's not realizing. Yeah. He's not no realizing yeah. it. Yeah. You can see it in his eyes. Yes. Well, the first two rounds I give to red, and if it's pizza, I'm red. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's quite clear at the moment that it's red is clear. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. Can't take that bet on. You know, Coco is um, also working at Liam's store for Ralf Steger okay. in, his, uh, in, in, in his gym. Okay. Uh, I think he's getting educated there. Oh, wow. So he's a trainer as well at the gym? Uh, yes. I think, nice. Yes. I think he should start switching. Round three is normally the round three and four in a Muay Thai fight is when you go. And the money round is the fourth, third and fourth. So now I think um, if he switches it on, he's going to win this fight. Yes. He's got to put pressure on him now. No, really, really. Continuously. Pressure. Maybe any pressure now. Very difficult for Oscar. Mm. Mm. And I guess. Um, yes, here we go. Coco is putting the heat on now. Yeah. A couple of big knees, and I think it's done. It's, yes. Knees, yeah. come on. Yes, and it's done. Yes, yes, yes. The Polish boy is brave, but 
<laughs> he is brave, yes. yes, but he's not got the the toolbox. Also, he's no, he's got no chance. Coco is still easy going. Yes, that's right. Nice footwork. Relaxed punching. Yeah. And again. Mm. Now sure the Coco should turn it on. Yeah, I think now. It's, it's, it's done. He can, he can do it now. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Okay, another one more. Yeah. One more. Three zero for Red and uh, the Polish boy Oscar. We had a good lunch with the whole team, and they were telling me all sorts of stuff. But um, is different league. I think Coco is just uh, cruising, just taking it. He's like a training fight in the yeah. sparring in the gym. Sparring, yes. And if he, w I think he'd catch him now. Any time he wants, you get him. Um, Oscar unfortunately is not giving any uh, counters. Uh, he's not countering. No, he's, not, no. he's just trying to survive. He tries to survive. Yes. He tries to move away yes. and maybe restrike. Yes, but not attacking. No, I wouldn't have given him in that round one point. There's not one shot he landed. Do you remember when you were a kid and you go to the swimming pool and you say you can jump from the high board yes. and then you go up there and you look, you down, look down and, you, and say, you say, no, I can't. Oh, no, I go down. That's yes. right. Uh, I think that was the look on his face when he started. I'm going to go out and smash this guy. And now he knows uh, that he, he's, he's not. And he's got no power in his kicks. He's got no... He's, he's not what, troubling Koko at all. Unless he lands a lucky elbow or something big, I don't think he's going he's gonna to get, get uh, win any round in this fight. And Koko still looks sharp. You know. But on the other side, Koko now should pressure now. Yes. He, this, this situation now, he should pressure because, I mean, in fighting, everything can happen. I mean, yeah. sometimes you, if you don't do it, you make yeah. the other side strong again. Yes. Whatever, whatever, you know? Yeah, more action now. Yeah. Ralf Stegel from the corner wants Coco to make spin kick. Uh, you can hear him in the I can hear him, yes. <laughs> He said, cool. come on, do spin kick. I think back, the crowd... Back, back spin, huh? The crowd, yeah, yeah, sure. The crowd want to see a knockout as well to, for the final fight. And I think if Coco were to put a bit more pressure on, he's knocking out. He's got to put some pressure on now, finish this fight. Then he wins this world title with a knockout in his own crowd. On, on the big home event, that's fine. The Polish guy is not really offering any resistance. He's just trying to survive. He tries to survive. Yeah. Yes. On the other side, it's a, it's a it's world championship. Yes. You know, and now you should. Yes, I agree with you completely. That's better. Now.
But this happens when you make let him do it. You yes. know? This is what I said just before. He should now. Don't wait too long. Mm. Very intense talkings now from the trainers to the fighters. Last round now, all or nothing. But you're right, a lucky elbow, a big cut or something, he could land something. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And then he's back in it, you I'll know. Tell you. So, um, to make no doubt it. He should now go. Yeah. Just go. Doesn't matter what. Go. He has four rounds in his bag. Yeah, he's down. He's, he's four down. rounds down. Yeah. So he now. And you don't know how much experience his opponent, Oscar, is in going um, uh, the, the, all the way five mm. rounds. You know, if you have many knockouts, and you you know, and in, in, in your in your stead, you know, uh, you don't know how many times mm. uh, he's been going all the way five rounds. You mm. know, if someone uh, the other side is experienced with that, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. Yes, very much so. Yeah. Um, Maybe Oscar has done it before a couple of times. Yeah, and then wins in the first round with a big high kick or something, you know? Yep. So we want to see uh, Kokono <laughs> finishing. Even Coco's ring corner now is um, telling him, come on, go now, now. I think we're about a minute to go and then we have a new WFCA. Yes. Cruiserweight Muay Thai world yes. champion. Yes. And I think I it's going to so be so. uh, Gerardo Ati, or Coco as everybody calls him here, the Blade. If nothing um, come in, comes uh, in his way now. No, I think he's. If not, he'll get all five rounds and a unanimous decision. Um, not very spectacular fight, but. Uh, the uh, first round was uh, 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 started to be. Um, no. But I think the, the, the time is running out for a knockout. And I think Oscar's going to be pleased when it's over. There you go. See Did you see that? Yes. Did you see that? You've got a spinning elbow in there. Just one quick spinning elbow. Okay. See that spinning yes. elbow? Yes. And that is what I was talking yeah. about. And you know? It, yes. It can happen if any time. If he land it, he's done. Yes. But he's happy it's over. You yes. can see he's happy it's over. Um, I think so we're respect. Get, yes, big respect. Big respect to Oscar. Yes. Respect to Coco, of course. But a big respect to his opponent. And now we now we know why he was confident. He kind of made it. He yes. managed it. <laughs> he said. <laughs> but I was honestly, I was expecting a little bit more um, oh, from him. Yes, yes. I, I thought yeah. he was going to give him more trouble. He yeah. didn't give him any trouble, That's but he survived. He survived. Yes. yes. And you can see he looks like he's happy. It's happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, our family's happy. Blade fans in the ring. Here we go, the official announcement going to be made in a moment.
but I think it's clear. Okay, now we have the result. We have the announcing. The judges scored the five rounds 50 to 45. Yes, oh, there you go. This is your unanimous decision. You know, For the winner in the red corner, Gerardo. Yeah. So we have a unanimous decision and 50 45 all rounds, as we call it here, too. Uh, gone to Gerardo Atti, the new WFCA cruisermate, cruiserweight Muay Thai world champion. And good to see a new face on the block, on the Muay Thai block. The Blade. People watch out for The Blade from Hamburg, Team Day of Destruction. He's the new WFCA Cruiserweight World Champion and I think is on the beginning of a new journey into the international levels of Muay Thai.